Hi, I'm Godly. And this morning we're going to talk about kind of close fun, kind of spiral ply. This is one of the easiest art yarns to make because you really don't have to be that careful with it. It gives the effect of close spun without actually having to pile so much yarn on. And by using a fancy yarn to make to use as your core, you get these little fibres popping through. Everybody has eyelash yarns in their stash. They're not very nice yarns to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. But we all have them because somebody always gives you some. But when you use them to make art yarns, they're fantastic. All these little bits come poking through and they actually do serve a purpose. To ply, we're going to use elastane. You can use regular cotton. Any, any fine twine would be great. Uh, but I use elastane because if you look, if you get a close up, you get this wonderful spring which helps keep your art yarn in check. Excellent. Right, on to the next bit. Okay, now we're ready to start spinning. First of all, you have to attach your core yarn onto your leader. All I've done is threaded it through. I'm spinning on an electric eel wheel. Um, this works with any normal spinning wheel ready for art yarns, but I'm using this because I have got a broken knee. Um, <laughs> Chase Graham, um, and I can't treadle, so I'm using my electric eel. Well, this thing has been a lifesaver. Okay, so you attach your core, and you have your fibres prepared, ready for adding. They don't have to be perfect, because they're going to be a kind of core spun, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so let me start my wheel up, okay, and I'll take my fibre, and you're literally just allowing it to feed on, not completely covering like you would do in a standard core spun, Okay, but just little bits, okay? Because you want those little bits of fiber to be popping through. What's the point of using a fancy core if you're not going to have them showing? You, you know, if you, if you really wanted to, it's the same as wearing your best underwear and hiding in your cellar. It's absolutely zero point. If you're gonna be hiding in your cellar, wear chest wearers. If you're going to be doing normal core spun, use the ugliest yarn you've got because you're going to get rid of it, you don't want it showing. If you want to do a kind of core spun with a fancy core, leave little bits poking through. Okay, I'll just stop this wheel. If you have a look, you can see on here, the fibres are already starting to poke through. Yeah? Okay? Right, on with the next bit. I think the joy of kind of close one is you're just throwing the fibre onto the core. You really don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have it at a 90 degree angle like you do with close one. 45 degree angle is absolutely fine. You just let it grab it and pull it on. It's the easiest thing ever. End of the arm, as you can see, the last tiny bit. Just make sure we put some more fibre on. Right. Then, I'll show you how to kind of spiral ply. It's not genuine spiral ply, but it gives the same effect with very little effort. And on to the next bit. Right, now we're going to kind of spiral ply. You take your ply yarn, which is my elastin, and I have it on the floor because it's a massive bobbin and there's no way it'll be bouncing about. And I have our coarse bun, kind of coarse bun, at the side of it, and we add it onto our leader, okay? Right, and we make sure that our ply yarn is slightly tighter, okay? I'll just turn it into clockwise. And if you see, if we hold it at the same 45 degree angle, when it feeds on, it 
kinda spiral flies. Kinda. Okay. All those little fancy eyelash bits now are popping out. We keep our core, our new fly, straight out towards the machine. And we just keep adding on our fancy yarn at this 45 degree angle. And it kind of spirals it. Massive cheek. And the help with using a fine apply like this is because we haven't tightly wrapped our fibre around our core because we only want a kind of core spun. Is if we didn't ply it, the fibre isn't packed on enough so it would come off. So by plying it with this fine yarn, we're holding the fibre in place, but we're still allowing those little fluffy bits to come through from the fancy core. I'll stop this and then we can have a look on the wheel. Okay, you see, you can still see those little fibres popping through and the yarn is kind of spiral ply. There we go. Okay, so here we have it. It's all on the nitty noddy. I'll just take it off. And because the core, being a fancy art yarn, was a machine made yarn, not a spun yarn, it doesn't have an S or a Z ply. So by spinning it one way to add the fibre and then the other way to ply it, it means that your yarn is naturally balanced. There is absolutely no springs or kinks or bouncing back in it because you've spun it both ways. The yarn's perfectly balanced when it comes off. If you can have a look, you can see the little fluffy bits come out and it's kind of spiral, kind of coarse, but that's the most simple art yarn to make. 